here today is uh, we're going to be building a uh, love seat glider rocker and uh, it's uh, it's a great project for uh, as someone who's looking for a little bit of challenge in that uh, it may not be uh, for the real beginner but uh, it could be at that though too but at any rate what we're going to be doing is going through this building this uh, love seat rocker glider uh, in stages of probably uh, two or three videos as we go along because we like to cover all the areas of, of actually building it and uh, right off the bat of course we have to have a blueprint or a plan uh, to build this this uh, item and uh, this here is a plan that I will give you the uh, the uh, website on the internet that you can download free of charge and uh, it'll be on my website for you to pick up. Uh, okay, it gives you uh, uh, all your dimensions and, and everything of building this uh, love seat. And the first thing that I would suggest to you right off the bat is uh, building the base here. And what I've done, I've went ahead and I've done the one end here already. And just to save a little bit of time, this one here has been all glued up and uh, sanded down, the corners rounded, everything is it's ready, ready for paint or stain, whatever you choose to do there. But I have uh, I've also built the other end here and I haven't assembled this at all. And uh, what what I'd like to show you here, for instance, right off the bat. Should you decide that you're going to be building more than one of these units, you may want to start making some templates to uh, build these in production uh, instead of having to do one every time you start. And what this is here is just an actual duplication of the base legs for this system. And uh, everything is made of 2x4s, uh, the, the complete uh, uh, thickness and width of a 2x4, the only thing you do is cut the lengths to what the uh, the uh, plans show you and uh, you can make your your bases like this here now this base here uh, as you can see you've got some curved ends you've got an indent in the bottom of that I did this here on my bandsaw but if you don't have a bandsaw a jigsaw will do the job for you just as well too and then after just sanding it uh, uh, nice and nice and smooth, filing the corners uh, where they need be, this type of thing, to make it a nice clean uh, project right through the, uh, the whole uh, project. Now what I do too, I, I'm always uh, wanting to knock these sharp edges off on here, so what I do, once it's all completed, such as this one here, I can run that over my router here on the table to round off all the corners, this type of thing, it just makes a lot smoother look and a lot nicer finish. So these are some things that you might want to keep in mind. Now as far as joinery on these uh, end pieces here, or the base pieces, uh, what I chose to use was uh, biscuits. And uh, simply because I do have a biscuit joiner here, and uh, for those of you who not, are not familiar with it, all it is is a little chip such as this here, your uh, joining tool here makes a uh, half moon cut into the uh, into your uh, material, and then is glued in, and your uh, little wafers are put into place and clamped together. And I can guarantee you, you will not pull that apart. It makes a real good solid join. Uh, now, should you not have uh, uh, methods of uh, using the uh, the biscuits, what you may want to choose is perhaps uh, doweling will work or maybe even a mortise and tenon uh, joint too will do the job for you too. Uh, uh, you, you, there's nothing uh, set on the rules as to what you have to use for joinery. I just chose this because I happen to have that equipment here handy to use. So that's, and it works very well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to save a little time once again, I've already cut some slots in, into this. But I think to determine where to locate all this, this stuff here, we should go through, through that a little bit closer. 
Right off the bat, your base in this particular application is 24 inches long. So you start by cutting two 24 inch piece uh, such as this here. And it's, it is originally the full width of your 2x4. All you do now is you just take, follow your template here and uh, go ahead and cut this out, cut these out and go from there. Now, what <clears throat> what you want to do here now is you will cut these side pieces here and uh, those are nine inches in, in height, the two of them. The dimensions have to be fairly precise to make this work out right as a glider uh, because every all the mechanism has to work and, and uh, be in rightful place to, to have that happen. Now, what it tells you on the plans here the outside dimension of these two are at right at 14 inches. So what I did there, find exactly center point of your base here, which is 12 inches in this case here. Put a mark there. Then from there, taking the center and going 7 inches on to each way will give you the outside dimensions of these 2 by 4s where they have to, to lay. And also the inside is 7 inches from there to there. So once again, you can take three and a half inches from there to here. And what I like to do is I like to just take and put a mark right exactly where they, they uh, do go. Uh, excuse me, I'll just get a pencil. So marking your, uh, your locations, you can just draw a line right down that. Same thing on this side here, you have your center point and uh, then what I like to do is put that in location and I like to mark down on the inside here because you also have to lamello from the back side. So you're going to have to want to know where uh, these things are located. So I'll mark there and I'll mark there and then what I do is you want to put your, your, your uh, biscuit about halfway into this 2x4. So about the halfway mark, we just put a mark there and put a mark there. Now, doing the same thing at the top, find your center point here. This particular upper piece now is not 2 feet, it is 16 inches. So halfway is of course 8 inches, which would be right there. So if you go uh, 14 inches across, which, which is the outside marking there, so if you go at 7 inches from the center each way, you have a mark there, you have a mark there. Now, if you go 3.5 inches, that will give you your center indication right there. And once you have that marked out too, it, these, your uprights here will stay in line with the bottom. First off, we'll just go ahead and put a little glue in here. I'm just using ordinary wood glue. We'll just spread that around a little bit. You may have a little bit of squeeze out here when you clamp this together, but that's alright. You just clean it up and, and uh, you're good to go. Your little biscuits, you just go in, 
put them in the, in the groove, and just drop them into full location. Okay, now we have this end here that has to go on to that. We'll just glue this in.